Can you just clap your hands to the Lord? Yes. You. Time does not permit me to say all that I would want to say, but I have to say that this is just a glimpse of what the Connectional Church is going to experience when they come to the General Conference. They better bring their shouting shoes. I have never shouted at a General Conference, but I do believe, I, I think I just may shout at this one. Let's give the Choir and Reverend Rob below the hand of praise. Again, a protocol has been established, but I thank God for uh, Bishop Gregory, Gerald McKinley Ingram, and this journey uh, that we have had together for these past 39 years. It indeed has been a good one. I'm blessed to have my entire family here, and we praise God for their presence here today. Turn with me to Psalm 11, chapter musicians. I only have 15 minutes, so you're going to get with me real quick. Amen. Amen. Psalms, the 11th chapter. In thee, Lord, I put my trust. How can you say to my soul, flee as a bird to your mountain? For look, the wicked bend their bow. They make ready their arrow on the string that they may shoot secretly at the upright in heart. Yeah. If the foundations are destroyed, yeah. Yeah. what <clears throat> can the righteous do? If the foundations are destroyed, what shall the righteous do? Yeah. My task, my assignment for this part of the preaching moment is to deal with our extraordinary history. If the foundations be destroyed, what shall the righteous do? I simply want to preach this afternoon, don't destroy it. Just look at your neighbor and say, don't destroy it. As African Methodists, we have an extraordinary history which should not be minimized, forgotten, reduced to one Sunday celebration in February, pushed to the side, eliminated, the evaluated, thrown away, or destroyed. This thought is validated by Bishop Gregory Gerald McKinley Ingram when he states in his most recent book, Moments of Meditation, uh, this is the year of our bicentennial celebration. And for more than 20 years, the AME Church has made significant contributions. Whatever the issues past or present, uh, Zion has refused to abandon its motto, creed, position, or beliefs and proclaim it a liberating and reconciling gospel. He further states that sometimes we have become indifferent and casual with our tradition. It is so easy to conclude uh, that nothing our ancestors did was of any significance and that nothing of consequence has happened until the present a generation came along in the quota. I agree with Bishop Ingram. Uh, because I have seen that some foolishly think that everything either started with them or that everything that has happened in the past doesn't matter anymore. That it is old and outdated and not important to this present generation, to these times in which we now live. But I submit to you this afternoon as we stand on the brink of the celebration of the 50th quadrennial session of the General Conference of the African Methodist Episcopal Church that we must honor the foundation on which our church was built and we must not forget what has brought us this far. So we must honor our extraordinary history. Hear me now. Those who don't know their history cannot build on their path. Those who demean tradition shall have shallow days ahead. Those who don't honor the work of the ones who have gone before them will not be respected by those whom they serve. Or those who don't learn from their history 
will fail to thrive in their presence. Uh, effort of working in God's church. Uh, those who destroy foundations uh, will not have an incredible future. Yeah. For you see, foundations give us guidelines uh, for the days ahead. Uh, they remind us of what we are doing. Uh, and I don't care how great it is. Uh, I don't care how creative it is. Uh, I don't care how cutting edge it is. Uh, our foundations remind us uh, that whatever we are doing, uh, it didn't start with us. Look at your neighbor and say, it didn't start with you. It didn't start with you. The delays, uh, the delays of our time uh, is that so many think that nothing happened in the church uh, until they came along. Uh-huh. Uh, and they have a spirit of entitlement. Uh, I think I feel like preaching. Uh, they have a spirit of entitlement. Ah, uh, uh, but the thing is, uh, they haven't sacrificed for the church. Uh, they haven't given blood, sweat, and tears for the church. Uh, they haven't gone through deep waters and rivers for the church. Uh, they haven't endured burning the midnight oil uh, and rising up early in the morning. Uh, they don't have a work ethic. Uh, and yet they think that all, they have all of the answers to the church. Uh, and they think that they are the only ones uh, who know what the church needs. Uh, I wish I had some help in here. Uh, but the Bible contradicts uh, this kind of mindset. Uh, I believe the Bible tells us uh, that one planet. Yeah, yeah. In other words, this didn't start with you. Tell your neighbor it didn't start with you. Uh, Oh, the Bible says another water. Uh, I think that means you got to build on uh, what has already been established. Uh, oh, but it is God uh, who gives the increase. Uh, I think that means that as great as you think you are, you are not in charge. Uh, if you think that nothing happened uh, until you got here, uh, until you became the pastor, until you became the president, uh, until you became the steward pro tem, uh, the H-N-I-C, uh, then you are sadly mistaken. Uh, you need to go back uh, and study the foundation uh, that got us here. Uh, can I preach it uh, like I feel? Sleeves and went to work 
during the yellow fever epidemic and help to save this city of Philadelphia. We must not destroy the spirit of Jerena Lee, who although they would not license her, knew that she had the call of God on her life. And the spirit said to her, if God be for you, who can be against you? We must not destroy the spirit of Daniel Payne, of Henry McNeil Turner, and all of the bishops and supervisors of this first district. Uh, listen to me, I know it's the 21st century. Uh, I know that we live in the age of technology. Uh, I know that we want to keep up uh, with the times. Uh, but hear me now. Uh, some things, uh, some things uh, should not be destroyed. Uh, I know we like uh, contemporary worship uh, and some of y'all uh, like to shorten your service uh, and think Shut up. 